Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a maze similar to this one, where you have street, where you have a road, and also how you can make the finished look by adding these illustrations. You can get illustrations from sites such as Freepik, Creative uh, Fabrica, or once you are finished with the maze, you can import your maze into Canva and then you can decorate it uh, there in uh, Canva as well. I would suggest when you are finished with the maze that you export it as PDF and then you upload it to Canva as PDF as well. You can also export it as PNG, but because PowerPoint has option to export vector files, so SVG files in PDF, it is better that you export as PDF and then import it into Canva because that way you're going to preserve the quality of the vector image. Now, I already have some images I took from Creative Fabrica I can use here. But if you don't have images that you're going to use for start and end point, what I suggest is that you create, you use a shape and then you just create a start point and end point. So you know approximately where your line is supposed to go. So let's say this is the area where I'm going to put the starting point of my maze. And this is the area where I'm going to put the end of my maze so end illustration the goal of my maze so let's delete this one because i do have my illustrations and also keep in mind that in most cases the rules for all of the sites is that you cannot use illustration as is you need to modify it so for example this is uh, what i'm going to do with this car to modify it i'm going to add these eyes I uh, collected also from Creative Fabrica. You can also draw them yourself, doesn't matter. And I want solution or the end of the maze to be here. So the goal would be for this car to reach the gas station. Okay, so now let's draw the, these lines, the road or maze lines. Left click on the insert tab, left click on shapes, and then select under lines, select curve. And now left click to start of the curve, and now just continue with the left click how you want your line to look like. And when you are ready, when you are finished, double click it to end it. And now we're going to change the color, so go to the shape outline and change color to black and now change weight or width to bigger than six as you can see six is too small so click on more lines once you click on more lines you're going to have this additional menu opened up and now i'm going to pick 26 yes 26 looks good now if I'm happy with how this line looks like, I'm going to leave it as is. If I'm not happy, I'm going to right click on it and it's going to open uh, this menu. And under this menu, you're going to have edit points. Click on it, edit points, and now you can move your lines and change them. You see each of these points, you can change them up, you can also delete points that you believe are extra that you do not like okay you can also when you click right click on it you can change the type of the point so smooth straight or corner so i want it to be smooth and also you can add additional points or delete points by right clicking on the shape itself okay so i believe this is good enough and let's see how we can make this into a road. So let's change color of this one to this light gray. And now control D to duplicate it. So I'm duplicating the same line and I'm put, placing it on top of the old one. I'm going to change the color to dark gray and reduce the width to 20. And um, let's make it more darker so it's visible. Okay. And now duplicate one more time. Change color to white. 
change width to 2 or 1, whatever you feel it's better, and change the dash type to long dash. And that's it. That is how you make a road line maze, like this one. And this is the solution line, so let's make a couple of wrong lines. So under shape, curve. So let's start with this one, 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 this one. Let's go here, 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 and double click when I'm ready. And change the color to, what was it? It was this one, I believe. And change the width to 26. Duplicate. So click on it and duplicate, change the width to 20, change the color to, I believe it was this one, dark gray, it's even darker, I believe, darker gray, put it on top and duplicate one more time and change color to white, change width to 2 and change dash type to long dash. That's it. That's my second line, round line. Now I have these numbers, one, two, three, so let's do that as well. Shapes, circle. If you hold shift key as you make circle, it's going to be an actual circle. If you don't hold shift key, you're going to get ellipse. So hold shift key as you draw your uh, circle to make it even and fill it let's make it white and shape outline let's make it dark gray and type in num one and text is going to be black so let's type here number one and under home tab we can enlarge it we can make it bold Okay, so that's my number one. Control D to duplicate. So this is number two. And Control D to duplicate. And this is number three. Okay? So that's, that's it. That is how you make something similar to this one. The line itself. It is unique. You made it. Nobody else is going to have uh, this maze because... It was created by you. So let's see about decoration inside the PowerPoint itself. So shape fill is going to be green. Shape outline, no outline. So this is my background. Send it to back. And now let me add these trees around here. Here. And that's it. That's uh, how that is how you would create a maze similar to this one. This is a stock footage. If you want to use this maze, you would have to pay uh, to the creator. But this is how you can make your own maze similar to this one in PowerPoint. Now, the next thing that you need to do is duplicate this slide. You need to pick the solution line, and the solution line is number one. And with the solution line selected, change the inner line to red. And now you have also your solution page created as well. Now, that would be this road that is curved, so it has curves. And now I'm going to show you, where's the next one? Now I'm going to show you how you can make, let's move it here. So how you can make this one, maze that is, you see the road is here straight. So in order to make this kind of road, so this was this one, the curved one, how to make this one that is a straight one. So we're going to start the same procedure as before. We go to insert tab under shapes and now we're not going to select curve we're going to select the shape that is next to the curve that is free form shape free form shape click on it and now click with the mouse once just once 
And now hold the shift key. Hold the shift key. And now draw your maze line. Draw your road. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I have no idea why I'm counting when I'm drawing this. It doesn't matter. But I always keep counting how many corners I make. Okay. And now change it to black. Change the width to 26. If I want it to be just like this one, it would have to be white. But because my background is white, I can automatically do this. So I can actually see if I make it white. Shape fill, shape outline, no outline, and move it center back. So I'm going to make this one white. Now, do you see here and here I'm going to zoom in? This is because I was not holding, deliberately, I was not holding the shift key all the time. I raised my finger by a microsecond. And because of that, I have this error here and error here. And that error is that actually instead of having one point, one point, one point in each of these corners, here, obviously, I have two points and I need to delete one. And here I also have two points. So how can you see these two points? So if you right click on your shape, click on edit points, you will see here I have two points and here I also have two points. So I need to delete one of these two. So hold the control key to delete and hold the control key to delete the extra point. And now move it so it's even. And let's this one, move this one. Come on. Okay. Do I have more mistakes? No. So every corner, wherever it's looping or uh, heading to the corner, I need to have only one dot. Okay, so that is good enough. Let's change this to a little bit darker green. I can also pick this one to be exactly as this one. So this is my maze line. I duplicate it, change it to gray and reduce the width to 20 and align it to this one and duplicate it one more time change the width to 2 change the color to white and change the dash to long dash and that is how you make a maze line similar to this one so this is a straight and this one was a curve you have two tools under insert shape tab, uh, shape tab, and the first one was curve, and the second one is freeform. So I'm using constantly using one of these two. If I want to draw a line that is curved, I use this one. If I want to draw a line that is straight, I use freeform shape tab. And once you have this, you can decorate it once again directly in uh, PowerPoint or you can export this and decorate in Canva or whatever tool you want to use for decoration, adding decorating elements. If you have any questions, ask me down below. This was a quick short tutorial how to make this maze similar to this one. Thank you.